Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Kim Mays with Rockin' Dogs Positive Dog Training and today we're going to be showing you how to teach your dog to cross their paws. Hi everyone, welcome back. So I have moved the camera a little bit lower because it's a lot more important that you see what Spirit is doing at this point in time as opposed to what I'm doing up here. So um, basic skills that we want to know ahead of time are shake and lay down. I find those will help you quite a bit. The shake, basically just using a hand target. Now you will see it, some people teach this using a button or a post-it note or something to that effect, but I find my hand, I always have attached, so it's an easy thing to use. So what we're going to do is basically just place our hand target directly on top of one paw and feed them the treat on the opposite side of it so they learn to lift and we're kind of guarding that paw. So I'm just gonna put it right here. Oh, yes, and we do have a little cross but we're flopping over. So what I'm gonna do is show you on the opposite side. So I'm going to put my hand on top of this left paw. Yes, and there we go, that's beautiful. Beautiful, and I'm just gonna feed her treat there for a couple seconds just so she kind of learns to hold that position. Now each time I ask her to do this I'm just going to move my hand signal a little bit farther away so I don't have to be on top of that hand. But take your time with this. This is considered an expert level trick and this is a brand new trick for four month old spirit so we're going to stay pretty close to her today. So I'm going to show you that one more time. I'm just placing my hand target on top. Oops, sorry. <laughs> hand target on top, yes. <laughs> Without the treats in it. <laughs> and that was very nice. Good job. Yes, beautiful. And like I said, as she gets a little bit better, I'm just going to start going a little bit, yes, a little bit farther away like that. Now see how she moved her paws over? That's a very, very common that they'll pull their paws back um, when they're learning or kind of avoid um, crossing over. So when that happens, especially if that happens like two or three times in a row, just regress a little bit. So I'm just going to go a little bit closer with my hand target. I was probably moving just a little bit too fast um, in that progression. And so we just need to slow it down for our dog. So I'm going to show you um, the other side too, if we can, because you'll find that all dogs are lefties and righties like us, and they always prefer one side over another. So if you find like, say your right is stronger than your left, then you always want to start with that strong side and then teach them the second side. But let's just experiment. So I'm going to put it here, here. Yes, very, and that was very clean and a nice stretch, so that might be an easier side for her. Here. Yes, very good. Now, if she consistently did this, then I would start giving her the verbal cue. So we could say, cross, Ooh. cross. Yes, good girl, very nice. And you're holding position, so I'm gonna give you a treat for holding position like that, because that looks beautiful. Now, another thing you can do, especially if your dog does hold position like that, is use something that we call opposition reflex to your advantage. So that basically means that they move away from the pressure, kind of like a dog that pulls on the leash. If you pull back, they pull forward, right? So what we're going to do is use that to our advantage with her paws. So if, say, I wanted her to cross her paws this way, I would move this paw out and it would and she would naturally bring it in this way or vice versa if I pulled this one out yeah she would pull that one in so let me see if I can uh, demonstrate that a little bit okay so I'm gonna pull this paw out yes and she'll pull it in a little bit so see that again yes good job so I'm just giving her the hand target a little treat over on this side Cross. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful girl. Let's see that one more time. Cross. Yes. 
So you can see, instead of just flopping it down, that opposition reflex kind of kicks in and it causes them to pull over. Yes. And you get a nice, beautiful cross. Over time, I'm going to start just giving my hand cue higher, yes, until I can eventually stand up and do this cue. Cross. Yes. Once I can back my hand signal off and do it pretty high up, then if you want to go to using it with your feet, basically what you would do is just do the hand signal next to your feet. So your dog gets used to that. And then when you do the other side, cross the other way. Okay guys, so obviously we're not going to progress to feet today because this is a brand new trick for spirit. But keep up to date on our Instagram and our YouTube pages and we will show you updates on her progression. So for right now, have fun teaching your dog their cross their paws trick. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. And we will see you guys on the next video. Have fun.